Beyond the veil did I chance to see you. The little minnow in the clear. A foundling here of mother's sorrow. Conveyed to me by beaver, by sparrow. Blighted, yes, or so they say. More righted, though, in fish way. So come gather moats of loving world. Come gather arms against old and herd. And join our family beyond your blood. For blight is child of everyone, even bears. Flintlock is set in the world of Kian, ten years after the door to the Great Below was opened, unleashing the gods and their armies of the dead. The lands of Kian are overrun. The coalition army is tied up in an increasingly hopeless siege outside the city walls. There is no one to defend the small towns and villages against the roaming hordes of the dead. You play as Nor Vanek, a Flintlock weapons expert in the coalition army, along with Enki a mysterious fox-like companion who enhances your combat skills with his magical abilities. On your journey, you will combine gunpowder, magic and steel to build your character into a fabled god killer. You'll also meet and recruit your former coalition team to devise a plan to break the siege and end the war once and for all. As you travel throughout the world, you can establish your caravan at key rest locations. This is your chance to rest and prepare for your next adventure. The caravan will grow as you meet and recruit former coalition team members to your cause. Each team member is an expert in their chosen field and unlocks crafting abilities and additional quest content. It's always good to rest at the campfire and see what's new. Building on our experience with Ashen, Flintlock retains elements of the Souls genre and infuses it with rapid mobility resulting in dynamic and explosive combat, a style we call Soul's Light. Flintlock's combat seamlessly interweaves melee and flintlock weapons with magic and rhythmic battles where combos chain together. Each enemy's attack pattern needs to be learned and mastered. Extreme mobility is a big part of the gameplay. It allows fluid and fast-paced action using your explosive black powder jump and dodge ability. There are three main categories of weapon. Melee weapons, such as Nor's Axe, Flintlock Pistols, and secondary black powder weapons, including rifles and grenades. The Axe, for example, is no woodcutter's tool. This brutally effective weapon, along with an array of other single-handed weapons, provide players with unique combat opportunities. Each weapon has a different modifier to enhance and change the gameplay. Flintlock weapons are the primary tool in your arsenal to fight the dead. You restore black powder charges by hitting enemies with melee attacks. Secondary weapons are powerful flintlock firearms that require time and skill to reload. Like traditional black powder weapons of the past, they often only fire a single shot before needing to be reloaded with a skill-based reloading mechanic. Your secondary weapon charges are only replenished while resting, so preparing in advance and knowing when to deploy them is key to their successful use in combat. 
grenades give you new strategic options to deal with enemies. Each type of grenade has a limited number of uses. You can find more grenades by exploring the wall. Much like the secondary weapons, you can restore your grenades by resting. The more grenades you pick up, the more you can throw between rests. Enemies can be engaged in a number of ways. Learning each enemy's moveset and mastering the best attack, counter-attack and defensive moves are key to unlocking the full combat system in Flintlock. A break attack is an attack that cannot be blocked or parried. It will also leave you vulnerable to follow-up attack. You can interrupt an enemy break attack with your Flintlock arsenal, leaving the enemy open to a swift follow-up attack. With the right timing, a regular attack can be parried, opening the enemy up to counter-attacks and extra damage. The purple bar above the enemy is a priming indicator. Once an enemy is fully primed, you can perform a critical attack, which instantly defeats an unarmed enemy. Or strips the armor from a more heavily protected one. Enki's Strike applies the Curse of Death on enemies, allowing you to build up their prime from a distance before closing in to finish the job. While Enki's Curse is active, your melee strikes will also build the priming bar, as well as inflicting damage. In addition to the Curse of Death, you can equip different Curse Stones to Enki. Each stone makes his strike apply a different status effect, such as poison or weakness. As you increase your bond with Enki, you will unlock powerful magical abilities called Witherings. Enki's Withering Gauge will build over time. When it's full, Nora and Enki can fuse together and unleash a devastating ultimate attack. Armored enemies take reduced damage and are less likely to be stunned by your melee attacks. While you can kill an enemy that's armored, you'll often need to remove it first by fully priming them and using a critical attack. Shields prevent all damage from a frontal attack. You must first remove the shield to attack head-on, or find other openings. Ripping off a shield exposes the enemy to a direct attack. With a war that has been raging on for so long in Qian, coins and gold have become worth less than your reputation. Reputation is the currency in the world of Flintlock, and represents your renown and experience. It can be spent to obtain skills and items and craft upgrades to your weapons and armor. Engaging in combat and defeating enemies is one of the best ways to build your reputation. The combat reputation multiplier rewards you for using unique moves in combat. Each unique strike, jump or dodge you weave in builds your multiplier and increases the amount of reputation you gain. But be careful, if you take damage, you will lose your multiplier and the additional reputation that has been gained. You can choose to bank your reputation at any point and the multiplier will be reset to zero. Hamlets are settlements around the world that have become overrun with the dead. Defeating the boss will free the hamlet. The people will return to their normal lives and you'll gain access to the local coffee shop. Every coffee shop has a host. Hosts are mysterious creatures who care for the local inhabitants. A host will give you an extra health restoration flask as a reward for getting rid of the dead. You'll also gain access to the shop, where you can cash in your reputation to buy clothing items and customise your look. Since the coffee shop is the central hub of every hamlet, hosts know everything going on in the local area and will offer up rumours which form the basis of Flintlock's side quests. If you choose to follow up on a rumour, or engage in conversation with a local character you've met in the world, you'll be rewarded with quests. And what's in it for me? These are an excellent way to fully explore an area, unlock unique inventory items, and enhance your experience of the story.
Even if you're not on a dedicated quest, it's always worth exploring off the main path, as there are often more challenging enemies and greater rewards to be had. From myself, Dale, and the rest of the A44 team, thank you for checking out our gameplay summary. We hope you're looking forward to diving in and exploring the world of Flintlock. Introducing Hollow Holes, a series of unique, massive dungeons, one in each biome. We've heard the community's call for more challenging combat exploration, and with this new update, we're excited to bring it to you. With the introduction of dungeons, we are also expanding our enemy faction, adding new craftable props, exclusive legendary rewards and your hard-won trophies, a mysterious crafting station with its own recipes, and new quests, one of which leads you to a brand new spooky NPC. But that's not all. We are also removing the 60Hz limitation and updating our camera motion to support higher frame rates and refresh rates. We have also reworked one of our towns, Willow Crush, that you can explore, as well as some of our locations that have been improved and are now more polished. For those enchanted by mystical worlds and cozy underground homes, we've crafted round doors and windows just for you. Get ready to elevate your creations to new heights or new lows. And wait, there is more. Now you can actually sit down on furniture. Whether you've had a long day and need a break, had an urgent need to isolate yourself and think for a while, or just want to enjoy the view with your friends, the possibilities are endless. Are you a botanist at heart? We've got you covered with potted plants. Simply visit Emily the farm once you have crafted a kiln to access various types of leafy friends. And that's not all. We're expanding the variety of tree seedlings too, available at your seedbed station. Now let's talk about quality of life updates. Our loot UI design has received an overall. You are also now able to craft stacks of items instead of having to furiously spam the space button. The gift UI has also been greatly improved for ease of transferring items. Content of magic chests is also now available for workshops. That way, you no longer have to sprint from your chest to the workshop. Want a more in-depth player stats? We've got you covered. Stack splitting has also been enhanced, allowing for more flexibility in splitting stacks. With the new ping function on the world map, multiplayer coordination just got easier. No more shouting at Steve for going in a completely opposite direction. Simply point them to the specific area you want to meet up on the map. And lastly, for those struggling to find friends servers, worry no more. You can now locate servers via IP address with an added feature to conceal the address for those of you that stream so that Dark Sasuke will not raid your base while you are out on an adventure. Ha! <laughs> and you thought that this is it. There is more. But who am I kidding? If you're interested in seeing all the fixes and improvements, look out for the patch notes available on Steam, Discord or our website. And if you want to help us spread the word, comment below with good work guys. And until then, we will see you in the next one. They would create a new Mother Crystal. Thus would our people's wandering, our suffering, finally end. And all it would require was the sacrifice of a single child. She's calling us. None other than Shiva herself. But he deserves a better fate than the one my people forced upon him. He deserves to be free. Leviathan, our most profane fragment. Now, let the sins of man be redeemed. Servant of God.
Two people have been reported missing. A male and a female were last seen heading to the forest two days ago. A teen has not been seen since September 24th, who had a chance to speak with the mother. She claims that her daughter had been taken by the water. Police were not able to drain the lake and... Officials stated that the man was last seen near the Drowned Lake area. It's been three years since he's been missing. There are a lot of rumors about the lake. Do you personally believe that there is some sinister hiding in there? No, of course not. People love ghost stories, but in the end, they're just stories. 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 something when when was the last time we were able to do something to talk we never get to do stuff together a little change of scenery would be nice now we've got to go check the whole place out i don't know tess I, we still have so much to do around here come on it'll be fun an adventure All right, it's a deal. A road trip. This is gonna be great.
Australia, spiders emerge. There are webs everywhere. Ew! Thank God I don't live in Australia. Gross spiders. Whoa, buddy! How did you get out? Ah! Night Zookeeper, Paul Connolly. We'll bring fresh meat soon and wait for notifications. For now, get to work. And don't mess it up. Lunch time. Hey, cuties. See you, Daisy. Fight. Damn, I need to hurry up. Time to take your medicine, buddy. Wenhua University, the last images we have of Huang Tingting are in the elevator of the school's Daoren building. The surveillance footage shows her making some bizarre movements, and soon after, she disappears into thin air. The police released the footage imploring the public for help, but it yielded no results. That was 15 years ago to this day. Wenhua? Oh, those film students and their ghost sighting video. No way, Mrs. Wong. That's exactly it. If I can get something, this story is gonna, like, totally go viral. This film depicts a murder in 1960. Oh, oh, lucky you. I know everything there is to know about Wenhua University. If it's before midnight, they can do whatever the hell they want. No. No! I I've got to get out of here. Hey, who the hell's down here? Hello? Hello? She wants to eat me! There's blood everywhere! I'm up at one point university. I saw a ghost! What the hell happened here? <laughs> <laughs> you are mine. 
This building traps the souls of all who die here. experiment I have proposed to you. You'll need a top-notch team to win this one. Pick your hero! Get ready! Go! By the Vashanti, Strange is here. I'm holding! Friday got that on video. I'm opening a portal. Don't mess with the amazing Spider-Man! Be strong together. Join together! Drown them! I'm everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> 